Teamwork makes the dream work, they say. Eh, that's what it's all about. So when you're starting your Power BI team, what do you need? What do I need to be looking for in a Power BI team? All right, lads and lasses, welcome along. Tobin's Tuesday yet again, eh? So I thought we'd have a look at some of the skills that we're going to need in our Power BI team. Right, because we're getting to that stage, aren't we? We're starting. We've covered the basics. And we've got like, like a good Kimball schema. Well, now we're looking for when someone says, "Hey, you're gonna need to get a star schema built to be able to cope with all that data." I know what I'm doing now, like right. And then we've also talked through how you can start your journey into Power BI with something like Excel, and that's not a difficult thing to do, is it? So now I'm going to build my own Power BI team, you know, and bring Power BI to my business. What do I need? Now, you're going to need three core skill sets, really, to cover Power BI and really make the most of it, yeah? And you can say this would be the same if you were looking at doing it in Excel or going the whole hog route through Azure as well, right? Fundamentally, you might find different areas are going to go up and go down, but the core piece is still there, right? You're going to need technical skills. You need people who can learn DAX, the M language, and some of the other side, if you really want to go down that route, you know, with Python and R, it's well worth having people on your team who can cope with that. Don't know, think Power BI is just about the technical, right? The other two core areas can't be forgotten, okay? You're going to need somebody or some people who've got some consultancy skills, I guess is what we'd call them. You know, back in the day when I used to do consultancy for a different company, Hey, right. yeah, these were kind of the core consultancy skills that we need to have. You know, I've been able to gather the requirements from the customers, being able to manage customer expectations and manage your stakeholder expectations as well as part of that. You know, you're going to have people from all over your business making demands of you, and you need to be able to manage those and structure those and communicate back to those people in a successful way. So don't underestimate that consultancy skill side. Get it wrong, right? You can have the best, most technical people. You can have like the best design skills. If they can't communicate or gather or understand what the requirements are, it's all for naught, mate. Okay. Last skill set, last tree that you're going to really need is that design side. Now, I mean, this is the bit for me I struggle with the most, right? I mean, like the data modeling bit, I can do that. No worries, man. Me data modeling, I'm fine with that. The aesthetics, I'm a little bit less good at that, I'd say. Precision and alignment, oh, I can do that. You know, I'm terrible at me. Like, I, everything has to be, like, pixel perfect, properly lined up. It's, like, you know, OCD almost is kind of, like, where you need to be with that. But don't underestimate it. You get those reports slightly out of line and stuff like that, and I can almost guarantee somebody in that boardroom is just going to go, oh, I don't like that. It's just not good enough. Right? And suddenly they're talking about your design rather than actually looking at the value that you've put forward. Right? Colors as well, you know, getting a good color scheme, good layout, vital to it. And lastly, spelling. <laughs> you need to be getting your spelling right and your grammar and punctuate grammar and stuff like that as well. All that has to be right on your Power BI reports. So those are the three core areas that you're going to need. And the last thing, right, that I would always advise and make sure that you're thinking through about, right, is make sure you can find somebody like a trusted third party just to be that voice of reason, right? Doesn't even need to be an external, you know. You've got Geordie Intelligence, I'm all around, you know, in contact us. Got the consultancy side of the business as well. We're happy to help, right? You don't necessarily need to go that far. Just have somebody who can have the role of like sensible adult and who can listen to what you're saying and be like, uh -huh. and if that's what, if that's the face you're getting, you know, you might have a problem with your design. So, so always says we'll have that. So let us know what you think. Yeah. You know, do you think, oh, does that make sense to us? Do I need to do more? Do I need to do less? Right. But, Building your core team and understanding those core skill sets that you're going to need is vital. So we'll carry on with the learning on Friday. Yeah, and don't forget, 
Friday as well, we've got the first super user community session. So we'll just be going through kind of what the super user community is going to be, how it's going to run, how you can interact with us, how you can really push us and make us do more work for you, that kind of thing. Okay. So don't forget, head on over to Patreon, get yourselves enrolled so you can take part. For now, have a great week. Take care of yourselves. Ta-da.